Leah String Quartet, and a composer of brass music. But he was also a professor in the Institute of Civil Engineering in St. Petersburg. Such was the professional life of many of his Russian musical contemporaries, working in the day in a different field, in this case, civil engineering, which he excelled and contributed immensely. But brass players are indebted to him for something very different, that is, a series of four brass quintets which has become a staple of brass quintet repertoire and most certainly the only one that is composed originally in the romantic sound. Today we'll be playing for you the third movement of the only published quintet during his lifetime, quintet number one. Published in 1890, that will be about 120 years ago, quintet number one was not exactly played on the instruments you see today. Original scores indicate, as well as photographic evidence since 1912, shows he was himself playing in a brass quintet consisting of two coronets instead of trumpets, an alto horn in E-flat instead of a French horn in F, a valve tenor horn instead of a slight trombone, and a tuba. For many years, Ewald's four quintets were considered to be the first of the original pieces composed specifically for such an ensemble. Even though a recent discovery of quintets written six years earlier by another French composer has shown that Ewald was not the pioneer he was long thought to be. Nevertheless, the popularity of his quintets has in no way diminished because of this. Enjoy. Thank you. 